Mina, Ohio Uzaimas, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Yeah, three messages today. Um, I didn't even plan on doing this many myself, but Psalm 56 just hit me in quite a few spots. And since I have some messages to make up for, from my bit of hiatus that I took for whatever reason over the last week-ish or so, I was like, you know what? I got some messages to catch up on. Psalm 56 has some really solid stuff. Let's probe the depths of this psalm while I'm here today. So this time I'm going to be looking at verses 4 and 11 of Psalm 56. In God, This is verse 4. In God I will praise his word. In God I have put my trust. I will not fear. What can flesh do to me? And then verse 11. In God I have put my trust. I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? And there's a lot of truth, a whole lot of truth in that statement. It reminds me of at least one story in the Old Testament where... It was um, Elisha and his servant. They were surrounded by an army of some kind. I think it was um, one of Israel's or Judah's armies. I forget which country it was. But they were surrounded by a bunch of people. And so the disciples were like, Elisha, we're in trouble. We're surrounded by a great troop. And Elisha said, don't worry. There are many more with us than there are with them. And then he prayed, Lord, open this servant's eyes. And then his eyes were opened. And he saw a great host surrounding them on the hill. They weren't alone. They were not alone at all. And so there, and it also reminds me of what Jesus said in the New Testament where he was mentioning, don't be afraid of man who once he kills you, there's nothing more you can do. But rather fear him who after killing you can send your soul to hell. And I'm not going to give you the references to either of those passages in the Old or the New Testament. Look them up. Giving you some homework today. Making your work just a little bit for this. And I would implore you don't just take my word for it. Please look those up and find them out. Make sure that I am giving you your information correctly. Make, keep me in check. Please do. Jesus also said... There's really not much to be afraid of in man. Now, he also stated the truth. Yeah, they can kill you. And sometimes death is not pretty. Um, all of us who are online have probably had our little um, exploring sessions trying to find the, de the deepest, darkest secrets of the internet. And there's some pretty deep, dark stuff on there. There's some bad stuff. And we just have to keep in mind that in the middle of the bad stuff, Yes, it is possible that God will allow some harm to come your way. He didn't save Abel from Cain. He didn't save many of the prophets or apostles in the Old or New Testaments from their martyrdom. God used even their deaths for his glory and for his honor. And ultimately, once we're out of this world, no matter how torturous the death may be, once we're out of this world, we're done. It's finished. And then we stand before God. And if we know him... Personally, we have an eternity of bliss awaiting us. And for those, unfortunately, who do not know Jesus, even more suffering will lie ahead. So if I could encourage you to accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior now, don't wait. Don't delay. If you've been thinking about it for a while, you've been riding the fence, hop on over to the Christian side. It's fine. For the most part, we're nice, and we have cookies. So please join this cause if it's something that's on your heart. And I'm just Essentially, I'm preaching to the choir. You just haven't made the full commitment yet. Go ahead and make that full commitment. Don't wait on that. Make Jesus your Lord and Savior right now. Because really, we don't have much to fear in man. Yeah, there's some, there's some scary things down here. But when we stand in His presence and we stand in His glory, everything in this world, everything that we've suffered, everything that we've been through, is going to seem so worth it when we stand before Him. That's another New Testament passage. Feel free to look that one up as well. Lots and lots of homework with this one. Aren't you guys excited? I, I know you are. I know you love being ad given additional assignments. To you. That's always a wonderful thing. Um, thankfully, Google search will not... It, it's hard to mess up. Usually these searches take less than five minutes. So try not to tax you too, too heavily. But that is th three things. So I might be asking for a little bit more than five minutes of your time today, but... Digging into the Word of God, digging into His truth is very, very worth it. So guys, don't be afraid of what man can do. Be afraid of what God can do. And by the way, let's not forget people like Moses, Joseph, Daniel, and David, who when they were going through the hard times, they didn't end up, they didn't end up being martyrs. They're the ones who lived. They're the ones who made it. They're the ones who prospered. 
God can certainly make things happen in this life as well. And a lot of the times, non-Christians don't like to focus on those positive things and on those good things. And on the other side, you know, Christians sometimes don't focus on the negative aspects and some of the people that did suffer a martyr's death. I try to do both equally if possible on my channel. So one last time, don't be afraid of what man can do to you. What can he do to you? Yeah, he can kill you. Past that, there's nothing else he can do. Whereas God, he has a wonderful place lined up for you if you will engage him. If you will make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior, if you will accept him into your heart, you will have not only the remainder of this life, but literally all of eternity to just bask in the goodness of God. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I love you, and God bless.